Has anyone ever told you that you have your father's eyes and your mother's nose? Well, you inherit these traits from your parents through chromosomes. Human cells are diploid. That is, they have two copies of each chromosome, one from each parent. Now, let's imagine two people who both have chin dimples. Person A is a homozygote, which means that they have two chromosomes, both containing the same version of the gene. In this case, both chromosomes carry the chin dimple gene. Person B is a heterozygote, which means that each chromosome carries a different version of the gene. Here, one chromosome carries a chin dimple gene, and one carries a smooth chin gene. Each of these people's gametes, either sperm or eggs, will be produced by a process of division. This division is called meiosis. Watch how these cells each divide to create four cells, each containing only one chromosome of each pair. Six of the gametes contain the chin dimple gene, while two contain the smooth chin gene. Person A only has chin dimple gene gametes, so they have a 100% chance of passing on the chin dimple gene to their offspring. Person B, however, has a 50% chance of passing on a smooth chin gene and 50% chance of passing on a chin dimple gene. What if we wanted to ensure that person B passed on the smooth chin gene? We would need to ensure that the only made gametes containing smooth chin genes. This is where a gene drive system would come in handy. Gene drives, which occur in various forms, are a mechanism cells can use to promote one variant of a gene over another. In other words, they can help change a heterozygous population into a homozygous one. They can occur in nature, but with the advent of a new and powerful gene editing technology called CRISPR-Cas9, scientists are learning how to manipulate gene drives to create desired outcomes. Let's take a closer look at how it works. Let's return to our person A with homozygous chin dimple genes and our person B with heterozygous dimple and smooth chin genes. If a scientist attached a gene drive to the smooth chin gene in person B, the gene drive would convert the chin dimple gene on their other chromosome into a smooth chin gene. Now, person B has a 100% chance of passing down a smooth chin gene. But there's more. Remember that the scientists inserted the CRISPR machinery along with the gene. That means that the CRISPR mechanism is also copied into the second edited chromosome along with the gene. This means that the second chromosome now has the mechanism to carry out the gene drive itself. In other words, gene drive with CRISPR is self-replicating. Once an individual's chromosome has been edited, all the offspring of that individual will also have the edit. After having used gene drive, person A and person B have a 100% chance of creating a heterozygous offspring with one smooth chin and one chin dimple gene. But because the smooth chin gene carries the CRISPR machinery, it will convert the chin dimple gene from person A into a smooth chin gene with gene drive. Now the offspring of person A and person B is homozygous for the smooth chin gene, and any of their offspring will also be homozygous. While it is unlikely that gene drive would ever actually be used on humans for ethical reasons, there have been proposals to use it on mosquitoes to eliminate the many diseases they carry including malaria, yellow fever, and Zika. There are several environmental concerns that need to be addressed, because if released into the wild, gene drives could alter entire species within a few generations. Additionally, there are ethical concerns. Should humans be altering genomes in such a dramatic and impactful way? What should the legal barriers surrounding gene drives be, and how will countries come to agreements on regulations? These are the questions that the public, scientists, and lawmakers will need to begin addressing in the near future.